Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony and you are in Turkey headquarters. So today's video is about Queen Naomi. Um there's been rumor that um Uni of Ife's father and some of the people from the Uni of Ife's um cabinet um uh, what I don't know what they call it. Yeah, the cabinet, the the king's cabinet. So they are still um they had an indoor meeting to about Queen Naomi Sha to see if Queen Naomi will come back. Because right now they said in Ileife they don't have Yelua yet. That even if Queen Naomi has left that she's still holding the title. So that was why among the new wives of Uni of Ife, there is no one that is um Yelua right now. So all of them are just um all of them are his wives. Um just that Ulu Miriam is the head wife right now. So they are saying that they have been having a series of meetings concerning Queen Naomi if she will come back to the palace or um if she will have a rethink because according to what I had they said it will be very it will be very very difficult for Queen Naomi to marry another man because of that title. But me I don't really believe that um Ulori um, Queen Zinab has already married and given birth, so I don't. Maybe that one is the one they are using to hold her. But people are saying that it was very easy for um, Queen Zinab because she had no child. So, but since Queen Naomi had a child with Umi of Fifi, that it would be very very hard for her to you know to get married to another man in the sense that even if she decides tomorrow, Umi of Fifi will not allow her. Uh, the tradition will not allow her. I don't know how true is that, but if you are from Yoruba, you can just tell me if it's true or not on the comment section. But they said so. They have been having a series of meetings, um, Uni of Ife um, sending his cabinet and Uni of Ife's father. We all know that Queen Naomi respect and love Uni of Ife's father a lot because he's been the one, you know, he's been pouring her heart on when everything started and the man is a good man. He's an old man, and he knows when he, when you when something happens. An old man already knows the truth. Not all the old men, Osha, but the ones that have sense. You understand. But what I'm trying to say is, I don't really think I'm not seeing Pinomi coming back to that palace for now. Maybe she will come back later. Maybe it will take time, but I don't think that she's going to come back now, because um, she has already started. Um, living her best life she can wear any clothes she wants to wear she can go anywhere she wants to go like it's as if she's free when you have this kind of freedom you would like to go back to someone you know restricting some of the places and some of the clothes you wear so for me i don't see queen Naomi going back right now but i hope she does in future even if it won't be right now but in future anyway that's what I said. Let me just come and tell you guys and, you know, discuss it. But, Wesha, since she um, respects Uni of Ife's father a lot, I think they might, they might, they might, you know, have a, a conclusion. But right now, they said it's an indoor meeting, you know. The cabinet has been going, Uni of, Ife has, uh, Uni of Ife's father has been talking with Queen Naomi on phone. Even if Uni of Ife has six wives, I think they still want Queen Naomi back because of their son. They don't want their son to be, you know, raised outside the palace. Even though Queen Naomi was not constantly at the palace when she was still married with Uni of Ife. But right now, I don't really know. A lot of people are saying that they don't see her coming back right now because she's already enjoying everything about her life right now. You can see the the beautiful clothes she's wearing here um a lot of things has changed about her she can she won't be tying scarves or wearing white and white all over again you know things are just changing for her and honestly i pray that everything honestly i really want her like to follow her heart even if everyone is talking to her you know for her to come back or anything it's just for her to follow her heart and i believe um She's staying on her own for now will give her peace of mind because the six wives is already at the palace and these are the people that um 
she's familiar with when she was married to Oni of Ife. I, I know you, you guys understand, but anyway, I hope um they won't talk her into what she don't want to do. And yeah, you know, a lot of mothers will do anything, anything for their child. And I believe that Quinomi has so many options. Her house in Akure is okay. The thing for me, yo, I'll just say they should just she should just make peace with Oni of Ife. She and her family, they should just make peace. She can be her be Oni of Ife's wife from afar. I don't know, I don't know how to put it, but honestly everything lies in her hand. Yeah. Because since um, she can't even marry, since she has a son for Oni of Ife. It's, it is so confusing. I don't know. I don't know why some laws will favor men and it will not favor women. I don't really know, but this is just my opinion. This is just how I feel. Um, I don't know how you feel about it. What do you think? Do you think that Quinomi is coming back to the palace? Do you think that... Um, because right now, if you go to Quinomi's page, she has deleted that post she made for uh, not no longer being like the post she made about no longer being only of only of your face wife she has deleted the post she has also deleted the one um she wrote when they took her to police station when they were battling that custody stuff so when she deleted deleted those posts people were saying ah seems that she's back with only of your and she's still bearing only of your face name on instagram but i believe that instagram since she's verified i don't think she, she can be able to change her name i think she can change it because nina of big brother changed her name um when she got married to her second husband so i believe that maybe she left she still left that son name there for a reason but anyway she I just want her to follow her heart. What matters is her happiness and people should not force her or family or whatever for her to do what she don't want to do. Everything lies in her hand. The ball is in her court. So she'll be the one to decide on what to do. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if there is anything I said on this video that you don't like or I didn't say it well, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Just drop your thoughts about this video, about this whole issue. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I'm really grateful. And I'm wishing you guys a beautiful weekend. Stay blessed and stay safe.